Hello, and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we'd really appreciate it if you would. Today we're looking at a Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon 13th Generation Laptop PC Aura Edition. This has the very powerful Intel Core Ultra 7 CPU. It's a pretty expensive laptop, but it's very, very compact and crazy lightweight for how powerful it is. The specifications say it's 2.17 pounds. I weighed it on my own scale at 2.15. We'll go over the specs, the outside and inside, and the benchmarks too. Let's get started. This laptop PC has an Intel Core Ultra 7 258V 8-core processor, 2.2 GHz base, 4.8 GHz turbo, Intel Arc Graphics 140V, 32GB of soldered DDR5 RAM, 512GB NVMe M2 PCIe 5.0 X4 SSD, 14-inch 2.8K OLED anti-glare display, Intel Wi-Fi 7 with Bluetooth 5.3, two USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports, two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 ports with power delivery 3.0 and DisplayPort 2.1, HDMI output, 1080p webcam with privacy shutter, dual microphones, backlit keyboard, discrete TPM 2.0, carbon fiber top with magnesium bottom, 65 watt USB-C power adapter, Windows 11 Pro 64-bit and weighs 2.17 pounds. This has an all-black chassis, and you can see where the webcam is even from the outside, and it does bump out a bit past the front of the computer. There's a shutter on the webcam, which is nice. Full-size keyboard with function keys at the top. The space bar with functions, how you turn on and off the backlight. There's a fingerprint reader. The track point, just like from the 90s on IBM ThinkPads. Clicky buttons and a large touchpad. On the left side is a USB Type-A, power light indicator, and two USB-Cs that are USB 4 and Thunderbolt 4. They do power delivery, data transfer, and display port. On the right side is a Kensington lock location, full-size HDMI, USB Type-A, a headset jack, and the power button. Let's take a look inside. I've already backed out the four screws on the bottom and I reached in this clutch area behind the little foot, was able to pop that up and it all came off rather easily with no broken clips. There's a very large system battery inside, that's why this has such great battery life. There's dual stereo speakers that actually fire through the keyboard around the like Windows control and alt keys. This is the M2 NVMe SSD location with a heat spreader, it is a 2280. This is another PCI Express expansion slot, but it will not accept an M2 drive. Heat pipes connect the dual fans and heat sinks to the CPU, which has the integrated GPU. And there's the wireless card with cables that go to the antennas that are on either side of the screen. The pass mark score for this PC is 5473, which is the 60th percentile. CPU mark is 16726, the 58th percentile. The 2D mark is 651, the 51st percentile. The 3D mark is 4169, the 35th percentile. Memory mark is 3219, the 75th percentile. Disk mark is 44877, the 95th percentile. I really like this laptop. I do miss a 10 key number pad, but it's so compact and lightweight. I think for people that travel for a living like road warriors, that they would really enjoy having this. I know it's not inexpensive, but very powerful for how lightweight it is and compact, as well as a powerful processor. It's got great battery life too, but that's really hard to analyze. I know people often put it in my comments, but it's hard to know what you're gonna get because it's gonna be based on the screen resolution of the unit you purchase, screen brightness when you're actually using it and what programs you're running too. But rest assured, it has a giant battery for how efficient and lightweight and portable this computer really is. Uh, if you intend to purchase, if you can use the link in our description, it really helps support the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if there's anything you wanna add I didn't include, let's get that in the comments too. I'm always glad to learn something new. Thanks.